Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Now, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we're putting out now on a regular basis. So every 24 hours, there's a video going out by either myself or our success coaches within our, our company, putting content out, uh, specializing in different types of sports. So we've got a success coach in basketball, in sports performance, in aquatic sports. Uh, we've got myself in soccer. So every single day we're putting out content to help you with your business. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the upcoming videos. Now, also, if you want to get in contact with me to discuss your business, okay, there's two ways you can do that. First way is in the description of this video, there'll be a Calendly link. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. We can jump on Zoom. I can ask you a few really good questions that will give me a bit, bit of an insight into exactly where you are with your business, uh, how well your business is operating, and I can give you some actionable steps to take this week to, to grow and scale your business uh, to the next level. Now, if you don't want to do that and you just want to send me an email, then you can do that as well. My email is makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? Those are the two ways you can get in contact with me. Every single day I'm jumping on these, these calls with coaches. I'm speaking to them, even if they aren't part of our, our company, they aren't clients with us, but I speak to make it a mission to speak to coaches and connect and help uh, coaches with their business every single day. So I was on a recent call with one coach who is in soccer. And the question he asked me, he said, what are the signs of a bad customer? So gave me a good idea. And I thought to myself, do you know, what? I'm going to come on, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to make a video to talk about this because this is something that's really, really important. And I myself have a business. I run a business. And at the same time, I also do consulting with coaches and I help coaches to, to improve their own business as well. So I myself deal with bad customers on a regular basis. And there are three things that have become common when I break down what a bad customer or what the signs of a bad customer looks like. Okay. Now it's important that when you when you have a business that you protect your business from bad customers because ultimately what can happen is a bad customer can destroy not only the image of your business but it can destroy its reputation it, it they can talk badly to other parents and then just word goes around and it gives your, your business a really bad image, a bad reputation. And that can hurt your company because parents love to talk, right? Whatever part of the world you're in, parents like to talk. They like to gossip. They like to talk about their child and what their child is doing. And if you have a parent who is talking badly about your company, that will spread to other parents okay so what we want to do is we want to weed out those bad parents get rid of them so parents clients customers we want to get rid of them early on and we want to focus on more committed clients this is something we we teach this is one part of our philosophy when we uh, help coaches with their business is how to attract more committed more reliable uh, and more dedicated clients because ultimately those clients will help to grow and scale what you do. So three, three things, three signs, three warnings that I have seen have been a common occurrence with uh, not just my, my training business, but also the coaches we help within our company. Right. Not every single coach is a good client. You know, not every coach is committed, is dedicated to, to learning, to, to building their business. 
So what we have to do as a company, we have to make sure that we weed out those those uncommitted coaches and work only with ones that are committed to growing, to scaling and to prospering with, with their company. So the first one is they lack communication with you. So when you bring on a, a bad customer right, and they don't have good communication with you, then what ultimately this starts to happen is, is communication breaks down. The relationship between you and the customer starts to break down because you might be messaging them or you might be trying to get in contact with them over an issue to do with payment or an issue to do with rescheduling a session or a, a promotion or whatever it is you want to get in contact with that customer. And if they're not answering their phone, if they're not responding back to your email address, your email, then they're lacking communication, right? There's a lack of communication there between you and them. And ultimately what happens is if, if, a, if a customer is not communicating with you effectively, is not responding to your messages, to your calls, that is going to hurt your business in the long term because if they aren't answering to an email or a call, the chances are that they'll probably pay late or if there's an issue with their, their credit, their credit card, right? They're not going to contact you to get that sorted so that they, you know, they can pay you for your service. So ultimately it's going to help. It's going to hold your, your company back. It's going to make you as the business owner feel frustrated, feel angry Right. So that's one thing I look for is are they how are they communicating with me? Do they have good communication or do they lack communication? Right. And if they lack communication, then that is a, a sign that they aren't a good fit for your company. OK, so second one is they show up late or they don't show up at all. Now, I remember when I was working uh, with clients at the beginning of my business and like every coach at the beginning, you want to bring customers in to, to get give your brand more exposure. And some of the people I was bringing in wasn't weren't a good fit for my business. But at the time, I accepted them because I didn't have any clients. Right, I needed clients, I needed to build traction, I needed to build a name. But what started to happen is because I didn't have any agreement with those uh, clients, because I didn't have any terms and conditions, any rules within the business, those clients started to show up late. Sometimes they didn't show up at all. Sometimes they'll show up one week, the next week. They don't come to the session and I'm there at the field or the worst thing of it all is you arrive early, you, you've got everything set up, you're excited, you're ready, ready to train. And then you get a last minute text message or a call saying that we can't make it right. And this is what, 10, 15 minutes before your session's about to start. And you've made the effort, you've made energy you're excited, you're ready to work with that client and then they have cancelled last minute on you, right? So showing up late for me is a big sign that they aren't a good customer, okay? If you pay for a service, right, you should be showing up on time. If you're committed to something, you show up early, you show up on time. So if they aren't showing up, the chances are that later later down so if they're not showing up on time the chances are that later down the road they're not going to end up showing up at all okay now where coaches get hurt really bad is the ones that charge uh cash the ones that are receiving cash okay they don't have a system set up where parents are paying them online they've got a contract in place the ones that are paying cash are the ones that always get hit the most with this Okay, because they what their customers do is they take advantage of them, right? The coaches arrive to the sessions, they set up, and then last minute they get a text message saying, "Oh, we can't make it for whatever reason." 
Johnny has a headache or Johnny has a stomach ache or, or whatever it is. And then ultimately you, the coach doesn't get paid because that client hasn't showed, showed up. Okay. So the big warning sign, if a customer is showing up late, right, sometimes people do show up late. Okay. And sometimes it's out of our control, but if it's a regular occurrence, then, and you don't have any rules in place, standards within your business, then that's going to hurt you in the long term, right? And that is one big sign of a bad customer. But right, the third one is pay late or don't pay, pay at all. So an, ex an example I gave uh, in my second point was if a coach charges clients a uh, cash and that client or that customer is not showing up to the session, then ultimately you don't get paid at all for that session, but you've made the effort to travel to the facility to set up, you know, you've probably planned the session beforehand. So all of that is energy and effort. And then the client isn't showing up, which means you don't get paid at all. Okay. So bad, a warning sign is customers that pay late or the ones that don't pay at all. Okay. Ones that don't pay at all is a, is a, shall we say a, a, it's a it's a common one, but it's also also a, an obvious sign that they're a bad client. Okay, because if they're not paying at all, then ultimately we've got to get rid of them from our company because ultimately that's going to hurt us in the long term. But the ones that pay you late, and sometimes sometimes it could happen where where clients, for whatever reason, that month they you know they get paid differently. On a, on a different day that month and they have to pay you maybe a couple of days late or one day late, okay, that, that might happen. But once it becomes a regular occurrence where they're paying you late over the course of a period of time, then for me personally, I think that that's when they're starting to become a bad customer because in your head, you're starting to stress out. Okay. You as a business owner, you've got expenses that you have to pay for, right? You've got commitments that you need to complete and meet. And if you have customers who are training with you, but they're paying when they want, or they're paying late, then ultimately in the long term, that sometimes leaves you out of pocket. Okay. So we want to make sure that we get clients committed. And if a client is paying late, then we have to make sure that we talk to them, get on a phone call with them and say to them, right, like these are the conditions of, of the business. This is how our program works. And if you guys pay late one, one more time, then ultimately you're breaking the terms in, uh, and conditions of the company. So ultimately we, we have to let you guys go. Okay. The more you become stern, the more you become strict with your standards that you have for your business, the better your business will run. And also in the long term, you will weed out people that, end up becoming bad customers okay so hopefully this helps and if you have to if you want to speak to me about anything that i've shared today then two ways you can do that as i mentioned at the beginning of the video the first way is you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me okay we can do that off zoom you can visit the calendar calendly link in the description of this video click on it you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me or another way is you can send me a, an email directly to my email. It's makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? Hopefully this video has helped you. So these are the three warning signs of a bad customer. Now, before we go, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out.
Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.